Hi, welcome, and I hope you're doing well. This video here, I'll be doing a teardown on a brand new HP laptop. To me, right now, it's a brand new laptop because it just came right out the box. But for you that you're watching right now, might not be a brand new laptop to you. Um, I'm just trying to make this video for a future, a long haul that somebody who bought the same laptop they have problem with it and they might want to do the repair themselves and I just hope that this video would help them so I'll try to take it apart uh, and I'll explain to you each of the components and what they do and hopefully that uh, this video would give you some kind of guidance or instruction on what to do or so that you can do your repair on yourself alright so let's get started um, let me tilt at a certain angle here so you can see the fine print. So this laptop is an HP Envy X360. The model for this is 15T-ED000. Okay, so let me get started. So the first thing I need to do is to remove this rubber. So this rubber here is to stop the computer from sliding away and you need to remove the rubber to get underneath to remove the screw. A lot of HP laptops have this feature that the rubber is, is here. So let's go ahead and remove this. Okay, so if the rubber is not sticky for you and you know the if the rubber is pulling off after you do the repair, you can always buy one of these um, double-sided adhesive tape. I'll try to have them in the link below where you can get them and so that you can double-side back the rubber and stick it back on. Alright, so what you want to do is you want to remove top and bottom. Once you have that removed, it's pretty straightforward. This is just a regular Phillips screw. So there are six screws on the top, three on the left and three on the right. The bottom, there are only two screws, one on each side of it. And at this point, I believe we can remove the back plate. So I'll get one of these prying tool here, stick underneath. I like to work on the side of the, the laptop. That is where the weakest point is so that I can go stick it in a little bit and start prying to open. You can also use a plastic prying tool and this plastic prying tool would not scratch the laptop. The metal one, you would sometimes make a mark if you missed it and you know scratch the laptop. So this laptop is a 360, meaning that it would fold all the way to the back and it acts like a tablet so in other words this is the touchscreen laptop okay so what you just want to do is slightly gentle oops sorry there's one more screw right in the middle I missed that And this screw right here is actually a torque screw, meaning that it runs on a torque T5. So I apologize, there's another one screw right in the middle here at the bottom.
All right, so I'm able to get the back plate loosen up and I remove it just like that. Okay, so this is the back plate. All right, at this point here, you would see the battery. So if you want to disconnect the battery, just go ahead and pull this cable. What I'll do is I'll first I'll remove the battery. So a good battery, it just flat and flush, you know, there's no s bump or swell, there's nothing swollen or anything that consider a good battery. Uh, but if your battery is not holding the charge and when you take out the back plate and you notice that your battery is like swollen or there's a lump on it, that means it's time for a new battery replacement. Now for this battery right here, if you want to do a replacement, what you can do is you look it up here. The model is BN03XL. Okay, so this is where you can buy the battery. So the next step, if you can see, this is the speaker. The speaker has two screws that is holding onto it. So remove the two screws. And this speaker here is connected to the top left. Go ahead and slide it open. And that's how you remove the speaker. And this cable here is to connect to the other side of the speaker, right? Okay, so once you remove that, again, there are two screws. Wow. This computer was never taken apart. Like I said, it's brand new out the box. And you know what I just realized? A strip screw right here. So the person who assembled the speaker, they stripped this screw and they did not bother to to fix it. So sorry I'm not able to remove this screw. It looks like it's totally stripped. Um, but yeah if you remove the screw then you can get the speaker out. Uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put this, the cable back on and the speaker oh well at least you see what happened is um, we make errors right so I think the person who assembled who assembled the laptop by accident I don't know stripped the screw but never bothered to change it out so Nothing is perfect, just so you know. And uh, let's just move on, okay? We're gonna do. Uh, uh, I'm gonna explain the rest of other stuff here for you. All right. So as you can see, this is your CPU fan. Um, there's none here on this side. There's only one fan. So if you remove this cable here. And looks like there are two screws that holds on to the CPU fan. And here you go. So this is the fan replacement if you're planning to replace it. Uh, probably you just got to look it up here, the model number, or maybe on this one here to find a replacement. And make sure that the fan on the picture that you're going to try to buy, it has this match where you the screws is going to go back on. Alright, so let's put that on the side. On this metal bracket here, I what I can see is already, this is the M.2 drive, meaning that this is going to be uh, your operating system, the Windows. It doesn't have any, uh, the laptop, the 2.5 inch hard drive or the SSD drive. So this laptop here, everything is stored under M.2 um, system. Oh, it looks like it's pretty hard to get out. Let me take a closer look here. It looks like 
it looks like this bracket is just a cover so more likely your RAM yep so the RAM is hidden underneath so this is just a bracket just a cover to protect the RAM there's nothing really special no screw that holds onto it it just a you know like a clip on you just push it in and it covers it up but first you need to somewhat uh, dis detach this this um, aluminum tape all right so this one here is a DDR4 RAM uh, if you can see it runs on 16 gigabyte no this might be the 8 gigabytes it says PC4 so this is a DDR4 RAM if you want to add additional RAM you have a secondary slot right here um, I think you can do 16 16 or maybe 8 and 8 to install the RAM you just got to slide it in first at certain angle right at this angle and then you're just gonna push it down and you can hear the two clip lock it on both sides here is the M.2 drive which is all your operating system drive uh, all your data all the information is stored in this M.2 drive this one here is a thermal pad and it has a bracket that conducts the heat to transfer the heat from the hard drive to this uh, to this metal here okay to remove this go ahead and remove the screw and you can open up the hard drive all right, so on this one, it says it's a 512 gigabyte, but if you do not have enough storage and you want to upgrade to um, one terabyte, I will have the link in the description below where you can you know, upgrade to the higher M.2 drive, the SSD. Um, but once you change out the hard drive, it doesn't come with the operating system. So what you need to do is you need to go to Microsoft website to create a bootable installer for Windows 10 and that's how you can reinstall the Windows back onto the new drive. Okay, so for this video I'm not going to show you that because um, this one is a teardown video but if you need help to do that Microsoft bootable drive or you can buy the Windows 10 USB drive that's when you want to do the Windows installation on yourself. All right, the next step I'll be doing is, um, as you can see, this is your keyboard cable, right? Uh, this is your touchpad. So if you can remove this, remove this, this is your keyboard lighting, I believe. This is your keyboard here, the cable. Uh, probably this is your sorry I think this is your lighting the keyboard lighting this might be um, the fingerprint login that HP proprietary for this I think that's what it is okay this is your speaker we already explained it here's your Wi-Fi card uh, if you have a broken Wi-Fi if your Wi-Fi is not working uh, you might want to check your Wi-Fi here okay so let me see, should I continue remove the entire motherboard? Uh, let's see. I think I'm just going to leave it as this. I'm sorry if you expect me to remove the motherboard. Um, but I'll do my best to do the explanation for you, okay? So this is the uh, heat sink on your, on your laptop. So if you want to um, apply new thermal paste on your CPU um, if it's generate too much of a heat then you can remove these four screws one two three four okay once you remove the screw the heat sink will just come right out and you use the alcohol wipes right wipe down the thermal paste the dry one and then apply a new thermal paste on the on the heat sink um, for this LCD screen you actually need to disconnect the LCD okay and this is the hinge remove the two hinges uh, two screws on on the hinge same thing for this you remove the two hinge and remove this cable disconnect this cable 
this 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 cable here is actually part of the uh, um, the LCD that goes this goes around here like I said this screen here is a 360 so it folds to a tablet um, my recommendation to you is do not replace just the screen so like if you look at the screen here uh, my recommendation not to repair the screen if you have a cracked screen if you have a cracked screen um, try to look for somebody who sells entirely exact same model that has the screen that is original built in like this what you want to do is you want to transfer entire screen with the hinge the whole piece and do the swap for the replacement okay um, move on so if you're talking about a motherboard replacement uh, the motherboard is this model right here I believe so if you look it up uh, or maybe right here so this is the model so look it up and see if you can find a replacement uh, the motherboard here is entire piece meaning that from here all the way to this here is one piece together so what you need to do is like like you need to disconnect all these cables right disconnect the Wi-Fi the LCD and swap the entire motherboard together it looks like it's pretty simple process to me it doesn't seem to be uh, very difficult to do the motherboard replacement and so for the next thing if you are planning to change the keyboard let's say you spill something on the keyboard and your keyboard some of the keys are not working and you try to do a replacement so I'll explain to you let me turn it around here so the keyboard it doesn't seem to be um, a separate part so this is the entire one piece together okay so that means the palm rest the fingerprint right the keyboard are all one piece together it's not a separate thing so if you have damage on the keyboard um, I'm sorry that is a bad news for you you will need to really find an exact replacement part meaning that you know you will transfer entire bottom here change it out uh, with the broken one uh, what I can see is that the keyboard here is a punch down you see like there are two little punch down here the third one here meaning that the keyboard is built all in one piece together and then they punch it down it's not like a separate keyboard where you can remove it so so that is really unfortunate um, and yeah so I think at this point um, I'm just going to stop the teardown here sorry I did not do the whole full teardown for you um, but I just feel like when I explain it to you you would have a good idea on what you need to do or, or what you can do alright so typically most people would just do a RAM replacement or RAM increase or maybe like a hard drive that is bad they just want to change it out um, but for this model here is like a tablet as well where you need to replace the entire screen um, yeah or maybe the speaker replacement alright or maybe the battery replacement so besides that I think uh, I will end the video here so if you have any question just comment below um, if you need any help I'm more than happy to answer your question just write to me and we go from there so I hope this video helps and if you like it you know please share give me a thumbs up and um, until next time I'll make more video for you take care and goodbye